after you announced your retirement, I'm sure it started to sink in now. People dream of winning one national championship. You have a couple national championships to show for. So what's that like to go out on the top, knowing that you gave everything you had to this game as a head coach? It, you know, it was remarkable. I think it was hard. We really had a difficult time. And when you, when you look back at it and all through the COVID time, you know, we had spring in the fall and fall in the spring. We had the largest group that we've ever had. And then to build it up to a team that really kind of struggled a little bit in the season and then to hit the peak right at the right time. And they were dynamic the last three ball games. It was incredible. Now, I know you've been here at UMHB 24 years. What time did you think about retirement actually being on the table? Well, I've got 14 grandkids and every one of them are so active and they all are doing so well in their sports and different things. We talk about it all the time that we were missing so much of their life. When you get of my age and start thinking about not coaching anymore, it's also sad. It's a sad time because you know, I've loved uh, every minute of what I do, but we're going to be fine. And I know this, the most meaningful thing that I'm going to do is spend a lot of time with my family. Now, you started this program in 1998. In 2000, you finished 9-1. and one, And then in 2001, you had your first appearance in the NCAA playoffs. So what allowed your team to be able to reach that goal in such a short time period? It's been a remarkable run, and I really attribute it to the, the kind of guys that we attract. You know, we're in the heart of Texas, so uh, obviously within a 75-mile radius of Mary Harden Baylor is wonderful football being played everywhere. And there's always guys that, for one reason or another, maybe an inch short or maybe 10 pounds light or whatever, don't get a chance to get a scholarship. But they have a tremendous passion to play the game. They love the game. And their coaches want them to play. So we felt like that it was imperative that uh, we had a wonderful university to attract youngsters to. And then to build a program that we could all be so proud of that Texas high school coaches would feel good about sending these kind of kids that missed an opportunity to get a scholarship to come play for a university like ours. And it's just been marvelous to watch. It's been a pleasure to cover UMHB football and to get to know you and your family, the Crusader family, the last few years. So thank you so much. Well, you have done amazing in all the coverage that you gave us, but uh, getting to know my family and all of the, the ins and outs of Crusader football. Mandy, you have really done an amazing job for us, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.